I'm happy with that. It's a perfect living space. <laughs> just what I'm used to. It's got not too much, not too little. Just perfect. Okay, there's a guy who's been watching for years called Stefano. And I can tell by his voice messages and I suppose his pictures, he's just got a big smile. He's got a voice that's like, hey, Seb, woo! The camera's always on. So I'm like already describing you guys and the camera's on. We'll go through there, look. Hi, Stefano. I said he's got this amazing smile. How are you, Seb? I can hear in your voice. Quarantine, I have to only talk through the gates. Okay, okay. I have to stay this side of the gate. I don't know how to open it, I just climb out. I've done this a couple of times. Go ahead, man. Yeah. So Really? Okay. Oh yeah, so you've made this into a little van life. Yeah. Ah. I didn't know if you had like a fully kitted out like van life or if you just not kind of yet, put seats. Not yet. In. We actually came here with that intention, but yeah. we are still working on that. Right. Yeah, I've never been to any hot springs ever. No? Ooh, I thought this was like... just here. It was really yeah. I can't even imagine like why there would be hot water coming out the ground. That's just like <laughs> in England, that's a strange thing, strange concept. There is no hot springs in, in, in England. Not that Let I know of. In the... Here we are with Sabcam, grabbing yeah, some bananas. <laughs> How much are they? 25 cents. <laughs> They're normally like... 50, 60, 70, maybe even a dollar. Cool, man. Yes, Just let's... because they're ripe. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Delicious! We've gone shopping. <laughs> Was he talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> I took it off because I'm walking out the door. I paid and I'm leaving now. Thank you, bye. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, hey, come back. Come back here without your mask on. Come back here so I can tell you to take your mask, put it back on again. I'm like, I'm leaving. These guys just totally bought all my bananas, all my everything. Dun, dun, dun. We are island. We're there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it come. <laughs> Thank you, he's training. <laughs> yeah, bro. You see a bar do pull ups. We're lost. We've only been walking for about two minutes. We got instantly lost at every turn. And I've got no shoes on because I don't want to. Hobbling around on all this lumpy soil. My socks are so itchy in my shoes that I don't want to even wear my shoes. No socks, no shoes, and I must less itchy. See how irritated that looks? Yeah. Don't want to wear socks. <laughs> we didn't film yeah. inside. I didn't film we anything in there. Yeah, it was just yeah, a bunch of yeah. naked people yeah. <laughs> in different temperature swimming pools. Uh, we there, we understand. Why it's not what I expected. Yeah, yeah, it was more like non-nature environment. <laughs> yeah, in my mind I had like rocks and steam all coming out and just just somewhere like in the middle of nowhere. But it was more like a but sauna. Are like that. We are going to find those ones. Swimming pool. Yeah. Uh, can be one mission for you, you know. It was like nice. running south, there are many. You can go yeah, to yeah. all the hot springs. I'll visit <laughs> many more. It was nice to have no chlorine. That was the main thing I noticed. No chlorine. My st I'm not stingy eyes. That's the only thing. I swam in the swimming pool. But yeah, I was the odd one out with my shorts on. I'm like, this. what's going on? What happened, Zabka? Why did you take your shoes? Yay! The vegan restaurant. 
<laughs> yeah, the w they are serving one man, yeah. one camera. Yum. This is the best. We were looking for places online, the best re really but the best here. place is not online. It's just in the back seat. <laughs> then maybe we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll do both. This is the preview. <laughs> they have so much ingredients. We've been eating blue cheese, celery, artichokes, almonds. Yeah. Look how colorful it is. Yeah, we have also the sprouts. Dates here. Yeah, that's the chopped up chopped up dates. Mm. Yeah. Going on. Mm. You know what I do to chop up dates and maybe the tomato? Yeah. Scissors. Oh. You can. It's just quicker. You don't have yeah. to use the board. We have scissors. <laughs> yeah, and you can you can cut directly into the bowl, and you just go fast like chop 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 chop. Wow. Yeah, just an idea. Scissor your salads. <laughs> Romaine lettuce <laughs> boats coming on set. Stefano style. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even describe what this tastes like. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of nutty, I think, is the best way to describe it. A nutty, flavorful, it's not just salad. It feels like there's a lot more to it than that. <laughs> a lot more to it. Layers and layers of salad. That's a beautiful description. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Let's take a picture. Hey, Sam, smile. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, amazing. Okay. Right. Ryan is a guitar teacher. He does it online. He's got a YouTube channel. He, I mean, he does a lot more things than just that, but he even rescues tortoises. Upon an island hard to reach, the East Beast sits upon his beach. Upon the West Beach sits the West Beast. Each beach beast thinks he is the best beast. Happy Softball Sunday, everybody. Of course, I'm sure most of you are already well aware that Eddie Vedder was on the Howard Stern Show during which he played his moving rendition of the beautiful song Keep Me In Your Heart by Warren Zevon. So that is what we are doing on this Softball Sunday. But first, let's check in with my buddy Seb, who is running all the way across the entire world. Hey Ryan, great to see you and your Kermit frogs and your guitars and that's a cool little setup. Is I got I got a cryptic message from you. It was just a picture of the ocean. Am I to understand that you have made it all the way from the east beach, beach to the west beach? Yes. <laughs> Here he is. Hey. More importantly, uh, in the delay, we found out that we had something uh, in common we didn't know, uh, and that's that we both moved a refrigerator today. Yeah, it makes me wish I filmed it now, but now we're talking about it. I'm always like, I should film everything. Yeah, I've been helping out where I'm staying right now, literally in this little shed behind me. It's a shed that has power and uh, bananas and lighting and a decent enough phone signal to talk to you. So yeah, I'm helping out moving furniture <laughs> today. What else do you need? And, and let me just hammer on that point about bananas. And am I to understand that you're running across the entire world plant-based? Yeah, it's all like today I went and bought a whole box of bananas and uh, things like rice and potatoes. This is roughly, this is a few days here. I suppose maybe it could even last a week. So it's like a couple of a couple of bunches a day. That must be like six dollars worth of bananas. <laughs> that was, yeah, ten dollars. I'll spend I'll spend ten or twenty. There's the little house. I'll spend ten or twenty purely on bananas. Like I'll buy the whole box. The shed that you're in was this a couch surfing find? Yeah, yeah. So lucky, like amazing timing because. There were a few days where I had itchy ankles or itchy wrist, and I didn't know why. So that was even more perplexing. 
and I was out there running along in the hammock. And as I was running, my feet were like, like someone's, you know, a hundred mosquito bites. And I'm thinking, where can I go? I can't do this for long. And, and this option appeared. And the first thing I said when I arrived like, is, well, there's amazing grounds and gardens. And if you need anything doing, you know, some, some digging or some painting or some fixing the fence, I could do that. And straight away, he was like, yes, we need that. So it's a good team effort. Yeah, did you get any folks saying hey from, from Mike? Yeah, I was just about to say that. I had some people saying, I'm yeah. here from Ryan. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes, it worked. Yeah. Awesome. That makes me happy. Well, merry every day. Merry every day. And I'm making, I thought I would make a video. So the, when I make the Ryan, introducing Ryan video, <laughs> yeah, he's here. <laughs> you see what I mean? Here he is. That's perfect. <laughs> so, That's perfect. Yeah, dude. And I've got time to edit now. Like what's been beneficial without having to run, edit, run, edit, run, edit is my focus is now on other things. So yeah. getting those other things awesome. done. That's exciting. Uh, everybody seems to enjoy the check-ins and I hope some of them are making their way over to your channel. Yeah, definitely. If you're a Ryan fan, come and say hi to, you know, I'm here from Ryan's channel. That would be awesome to know who's from where. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good luck, sir. Enjoy the remaining hours of your hotel, and I will talk to you soon. All right. Thanks for calling. Over and out. Over and out. Cheers. Hey, you guys. What's up? My name's Seb. This is the Cam. Boom. This is Seb Cam. This is Seb Cam. So I got a message on my PayPal. PayPal Sebcam at gmail.com. From... Tom Ross. He says, Ross Creation's dad here. I enjoy watching your journey. My wife and I drove a 36-hour brutal trip to Kansas in August, and I can't imagine you running there. Would love to chat sometime. Cell phone number is... Boop, boop, boop. Praying for your journey. I like calling randomly on this. You never know if they'll answer. Hi, Tom. It's Seb, as in Seb Cam. Are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? I love how excited oh, you are. That's fun. <laughs> I love that you included your number. I always like to speak to everybody. Oh, I just want to sneak in so my wife knows you called. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hon, guess who I'm talking to? Seb. My name's Seb. This is the Cam. This is Seb Cam. <laughs> trip and I wouldn't pull over we wouldn't get a hotel I was going for it <laughs> and it was just brutal and then I think when I got back from that I started watching your videos and I can recognize everything you're at and I'm like oh my gosh we, you did the same route <laughs> and I'm like I cried like a baby because it was so 36 hours of brutal and you blah and I'm like Seb jog there he ran all the way there yeah. something else I, re I really admire and appreciate is I'm I'm not into the vegan scene, mm. but you're not you're not what I call religious vegan. <laughs> no. Everybody feel bad for not being a vegan, and I'm sitting there thinking I need to eat more bananas. You know, and my <laughs> wife, her what she does is Revelation Wellness, and she eats clean, and she's very oh my gosh, she's a, like an aerobics instructor. Yeah, <laughs> she's incredible, and she's like no sugar for you know she's so healthy and everything. But it's different. You're jogging and you need sugar. And, you, and I'm like, he'll actually drink a Slurpee. And she's like, oh, no, I'd never drink a Slurpee. You know? <laughs> but, you know, this just encourages me more to eat more healthy. And, you know, it's like, okay, I got to do a little more exercise. <laughs> you are maintaining. So that gets rid of the myth. I like seeing you. And it's like, dude, you ran across America and he's more healthy now than when he left. <laughs> Hi. Seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> the thing is with this desk, I can't even pick it up with one person. I can't even drag it. It takes two people to even make the desk move. You don't you don't pick it up though, you just slide it. How are we gonna get a desk that heavy up there? No idea.
I'm intrigued to see how this goes. Yeah, you're in. Yeah. This is what a terrible idea looks like. Yes, it's still alive! He's still on there. The way he says it, he's still on there. <laughs> the best choice of sugar but you could you don't have to be sparing with that sugar you could pour that all over your smoothies or your cereal you know, when, I, when I saw the one in the middle of the country I missed a couple the one where you crash with low blood sugar oh man, I was so upset yeah yeah that's that just goes to show what happens when you don't have sugar yeah I knew yeah. like I I had I was starting to get hungry I was starting to get thirsty I knew I was you know out in the deep water um, or, or treading on thin ice or whatever terminology you want to use. But yeah, I've, I've experienced that a few times, uh, you know, always when I'm low on sugar. And yeah, it's kind of like almost like having a seizure or something. Like my hands are seizing up and I couldn't talk. There's a few bits where I'm like, oh, there, 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 there. <laughs> I'm like the words yeah. aren't coming out. And you see people wow. like that at the end of marathons. If they haven't been eating, you know, or getting the right nutrition in during the marathon, You'll see them like wobbling and they can't talk and they, yeah, it's all just low sugar. Yeah. Wow. I'll send you some so links. What's your, what's your weather like now in California? Good morning, everybody. It's a little bit rainy today. Digging trenches. But we're still digging trenches. We're not stopping. in the cold. Rain. It moves so slowly. This is not London. <laughs> this is the wild California. <laughs> so we're going to try to stand in right here, man. Wait. Get some cold wet. <laughs> Crazy rainy day.
I'm inside my shed and look who's here. Zach is here. I'm just gonna dump this in the washing machine. We're packing up. We're out of here. One of the people who live inside the camera. Okay. <laughs> oh. Got, uh... Yeah, it does crush down pretty small. Yeah. But yeah, trying to find space for that. It's like. Where is it going to go? Okay. So I have loved being here out by the pool, the seating area, the sunshine. It's time to go. Oh. Uh, it looks clear my way. Clear, clear. It's early. People seem to drive in that morning. Yeah, it's way early in the morning. And it's, we're so far out. Sebastopol, Seb what a funny name. Well, I had some other buddies come visit <laughs> Stefano, other YouTubers, and they were like, I can't believe you're in a town called Seb. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> very funny. And then my town, my hometown in Florida is Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. Zach has brought me a, a backup spare headlamp. This is amazing. It's very useful. Gear repair tape. <laughs> some tiny little towel, which I don't ever carry a towel. I've never seen anything like this before. I kind of want to take it out now, just to see what you it gotta, looks like. You gotta get it wet. Oh, really? You can probably put it in your mouth. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll wait until I really need a towel. I have a feeling it won't pack down as small once you open it once. Probably right? not. <laughs> Is it weird that I'm here in person in real life? Oh, yeah, yeah. When I first saw you, I'm like, oh, where's my tablet? Yeah. I, I was freaking out. <laughs> it took me a minute to get back to reality. <laughs> such a celebrity. Yeah, that was funny. He was like, oh, totally. I'd, I'd love to help. It's like being with a celebrity. I was like, I'll pay you gas, I'll help you out. <laughs> so it's a good team. Good. It's awesome to have so many friends in so many different places. It's like, pretty amazing. Yeah. And I always remember, I kept asking you, because you had these banana trees and you're growing all this stuff. <laughs> I kept asking you, where are you again? Where are you again? I remember you saying, like, California, but north. Yeah, Petaluma. So we're still heading south. That's the plan currently. But there is maybe some little surprise coming. Oh yeah, I feel like I should explain to you and the people, it's a good way to do it. Okay. What I've been doing this whole time, because there's been no vlogs, right? <laughs> true, true. It's so, sad. yeah, it's, I feel like there's nothing much to update you on, because I haven't done much. I've just been working there at the farm a little bit. Recovering. Yeah, and recovering from being itchy. But instead of making a vlog every day, running every day, editing every day, instead of that, I've been doing the movie but I've come to the conclusion that if I just put it out there now, which is what I was intending on doing, it won't be very... It'll just be like a, a three hour long vlog. <laughs> it won't be a movie. Yeah. Like I've never edited a movie before. So yeah, it's not ready basically, that's the punchline, is I don't feel like I want to just put something out and rush it. You even said don't rush it, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't rush, don't just rush. Um, take my time and it's going to be a proper movie, uh, as close as we can, you know, Sebcam style. And then we're going to take that movie to film festivals and promote it and make a proper big deal about it. Tonight, take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow! <laughs> yeah! 